now. We are one of the oldest part of Dowling that a lot of black people and people never knew about. Dowling and Pope. Check it out. Name ain't changed this sign. This is out on the corner where the Houston Post used to be. Houston first newspaper here in the city of Houston. It was not the Houston Chronicle. This is the building that the Hobby family built when the Houston Post opened up. I'm going to give you an interview right here at this historical building. They have towed down the Chronicle, but I'll be god doggone if they're going to tear this down. The Hobby family will not let them tear this building down until they say it's time to tear it down. All right, I'm live. I'm right here to 2400 block of Polk Street. That's right, we're on the corner of Polk and Dowling. This is a very historical place because this is the beginning of the Houston Post. This is why this building is still here. And it's on the corner of Dowling and Polk. I did not say emancipation and Polk. I said Dowling and Polk. This building here is the Hobby family, in case you want to know. The Houston Post was the first newspaper to come to Houston. I got my notes, because some of you people think I'm lying. Now, the, the, the name is William Purtis Hobby. Who he is? That's who they named the Hobby Airport after. Who he is? He the man who bought television to Houston. When television came in in 1949, Mr. Hobby bought the first television station. At first, the television station couldn't make it. The television call letter was called KLEE. -E. Then Mr. Hobby took over the television station in 1949, changed the call letters to KPRC, Channel 2. And later, the Hobby family sold it. But before the Hobby family sold it and got into the radio, they owned the Houston Post. That's right, they owned the Houston Post. They bought the Houston Post in 1901. The Chronicle didn't come into existence. They bought the Chronicle in 1901. The paper opened up. Its first newspaper came out in 1880. The paper was struggling. Mr. William Hobby took the paper over in 1901. That was way before the Chronicle got here. And he only said that he would only take the paper and he would only come out with it in the morning. He would not come out in the evening paper. That's why the Houston Post only came out in the morning. You did not buy a Houston Post paper in the afternoon. That's why the Chronicle knew they couldn't get that business away from the Houston Post. That's the reason why they started the evening paper when the Chronicle came into existence. But I'm telling you the facts. The Hobby family, boy, that's a great, a great family, man. I just thank God I never worked for them. But I knew good people who worked for them, like Adrian Patterson, Coach Patterson, Andrew Pat Patterson. Both was the first two black photographers. And what station did they work at? KPRC, the first black news sportscaster who had an editorial in the Houston Post, who it was, Mr. George McElroy. What paper? The Houston Post. So this Houston Post have always done things for blacks. And the Hobby family have always contributed, not only to blacks, but to the whole city of Houston. Mr. William P. Hobby, first of all, they named, he was our 27th governor. Then, later on, they named the airport after him. Then they named the elementary school in, in Harlem Clark after him. And his beautiful wife, who just not too long passed, less than 15 years ago, Miss Octavia Hobby. That's why they got the Hobby Arts Center downtown in Houston in the care of her name. This right here is the beginning of the Houston Post, right here in Third Ward history that they never tell you about. History that I'm telling you about right here on Dowling Street. So what, what, what you're saying, Bully, is the first newspaper came out in Houston, Texas that went 
out on the market when the Houston Post sold it out to the Hobby family and the Hobby family took it out over. This is where they print their newspaper and this is where they distribute their newspaper, right here on the 2400 block of Polk Street, right on the corner of Polk and Dowling. As you can see, this building is still standing. The Houston Chronicle building, they didn't tow it down. But before they tear this building down, the Hobby family would have to give them approval for them to tear it down. And I'm not looking for them to tear it down, looking for them to remodel it, re re redo it, re-renovate it, and get it caught up to date. You know, because after all, people never knew. Television came in in 1949. That's when they in introduced the television. And the first person to buy a television station here, his name was Albert Lee. But Albert Lee didn't have enough money to pay NBC, because NBC was your first network. So don't get tricked over CBS and ABC. They wasn't the first. NBC was the first. And when they came here and introduced it, uh, an affiliated station for NBC, Mr. Albert Lee, in 1949, took it, and then within eight months, he was out of money. And then that's when Mr. Hobby, because he seen the value and the future of television, and he loved Houston so much, and he wanted to bring his Houston Post, which is part of communication. And he also owned the first radio station here too, by the way. Mr. Hobby bought the first radio station in 1925. That's when Mr. Hobby bought the first radio station here in Houston. And it was called KPRC 950 AM. It was no such thing as no FM. FM didn't even come into existence until the late 70s. So this is a historical place right here on the corner of Polk and Dowling that soon or later would be Emancipation Avenue. Not Boulevard, it's Avenue. You've seen it back there. So I'm here to say thank you for all of your support and mainly to introduce you to the Hobby family. Their son was Lieutenant Governor of Texas. Mr. William ha Hobby, William Pettis Hobby was the 27th Texas governor here in the state of Texas, and he was a Democrat. Thank you. God bless you.